Cancer, thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person love reading. Um, it is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you, all right? Cancer, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross-watch. This is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, I am offering 30 minutes for $30. I also offer distance Reiki healing. And I am doing a free 30-minute love reading giveaway. I will be pulling the winner on or around July 1st. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your name below. Yes, you have to do all three, but that will get you entered, all right? Um, congratulations to the last month winner, Angelica. And let's get going. We are doing a peek at your person, Cancer. Um, I could be talking about your person, but I could actually be talking to you, Cancer, all right? It could be flipped, all right? So keep that in mind as we go through the reading. So overall energy for Cancer's person. Overall energy for Cancer's person. Thank you. Oh. All right, we have mending and to be fair. So number 38 and 52, if that means anything to you. All right, mending and to be fair. So I feel like your person wants to heal something, mend something, fix something between the two of you. This could be, we are in Mercury retrograde. Could be an ex coming back and we have clean it up and chop wood. I feel like this person wants to clean up whatever mess was made or whatever happened um, and chop wood. They wanna put in that effort, that work, all right? to mend this and to heal this. Wow, starting off strong. We have Ace of Cups and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Oh, so your person is, there. there's love here. And I feel like this could be divinely guided with Temperance, all right? Your person's trying to like go with the flow. They may have one foot in, one foot out, but there's definitely love. Oh, and passion, Ace of Wands. There's definitely a lot of passion here, desire for this. King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an Earth sign. Mm. And then we have Ten of Pentacles. There could be a family matter um, in this, or you could have a family with them. You could have a family with someone else. They could have family with somebody else too. Um, but there's something to do with family here, 10 of Pentacles. Or this person is kind of hoping that this connection turns into long lasting forever type thing. Higher level of commitment, maybe starting a family. I feel like there's loyalty here. There's passion, there's love, divinely guided stability like it's very strong starting off very very strong cancer let's see what's blocking this connection blockages or external influences we have the moon that's your energy and pisces and five of swords so there could have been some hidden secrets or things not spoken um or holding back there could be conflicted thoughts or too many people involved causing conflicted thoughts, family, friends, that kind of a thing. Let's see what else. Well, King of Cups, there you are, or it could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Gemini energy with the Lovers card and then Page of Swords. There could be an age difference between the two of you. It doesn't have to be. Um, someone could have been watching someone maybe on social media or something and found that someone could have had a choice in love or there was somebody else involved maybe a third party or maybe there's another connection or you have one that kind of came to light but i feel like there is a soul a soul bond here it, it is strong the energy is very strong if there was or is somebody else involved, like if you have a family or they have a family and you guys are trying to come towards each other and leave the other party behind, I feel like it's been causing a blockage here, if that's what it is. If it's not that scenario, 
I feel like there's just like one of you is conflicted. I don't think it's them. I feel like it might be you, Cancer. That might be a little bit conflicted on is this person for real? Is can this be mended? Can this be fair? You know? Uh, but let's see, how does this person genuinely feel about you, Cancer? How do they genuinely feel about Cancer? How do they genuinely feel about Cancer? The Magician. They could feel like you could be a little manipulative or tricky or trickstery. Um, or this is saying that they're trying to manifest you. But let's see what else comes out. Hmm. All right, Nine of Swords, page, page of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. <sighs> they could feel like they caused a lot of stress in this connection. Maybe somebody rejected someone or is it feeling ignored. There may be like a, a, a young kind of um, stability here, like a, a small, light amount of stability. Could be an age difference again uh, for some of you. This person may have caused some stress or you caused some stress. Somebody's stressed out. This is how they feel about you. So they could feel like maybe they caused this stress. Maybe they were being a little tricky or manipulative or they're feeling ignored by you though. What else? Anything else? How they feel? The Hermit Virgo energy. You could have ghosted them. Cancer, I feel like you cut off communication with this person and now they're panicking. They're feeling very anxious, sleepless nights, overthinking, feeling rejected or ignored. I feel like you blocked them. They want to mend this. They want things to be fair. I don't know if you're up for it, though. I don't know if you're up for it. If they caused pain and stuff, I don't know if you're you're about that. But let's see, what are they hoping for the outcome with you? What are they hoping for the outcome with cancer? What are they hoping for the outcome? Hopes for the outcome. The world. They want to start a new chapter or a new cycle with you and close out an old one. They want a new beginning. I mean, you have two aces here in their immediate ace of cups and ace of wands. There's love and passion. They want a new beginning, a new cycle. Yeah, they're feeling very stuck, trapped, bound, tied up, um, possibly in some kind of drama, competition, too many people involved. And then we have the devil, Capricorn energy. There could be some like major temptation or blockages here. I feel like it's, there's a lot of drama surrounding it. I feel like it's keeping them stuck and I feel like they want to be unstuck. They, they want to be unstuck. They may want to put like work and effort into this connection. They want a new, a new cycle. They want something new. They want it with you. So I'm feeling now that we're getting towards the end of this, that they are the ones that are in some kind of higher level of commitment here. And they are trying to get away from that and come towards you and have a new beginning with you. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. They want... Oof. Yep, yep. They want to take that leap of faith because you're their happiness. Uh, Aries energy here. You're their happiness. 
They're willing to wait. They're willing to put in the work and the effort. They're willing to plant the seeds, water it, nurture it, care for it, for this to grow. There's, there's love and passion here. There's attraction, chemistry. Let's see. <clears throat> What's the biggest obstacle Cancer is going to have to face in this connection? Biggest obstacle Cancer is going to have to face in this connection. Thank you. Participation. Morality. So... Equal give and take, reciprocity, both of you contributing and participating the same in this connection. And morality and Thunderbolt came out too, which is kind of like the tower. Um, things need to kind of get shooken up and crumble down in order for this to be built on a solid ground, all right? So if this person's in another connection, they need to get away from that in order for this to work. And I don't condone that kind of thing, but if they're really unhappy and you guys are soulmates and you're supposed to be together, then that's, you know, but I feel like until that happens, things aren't going to come together. So that's the biggest obstacle here is having that tower moment or them having that tower moment in their life. And maybe it's take you, it took you to walk away because they're definitely stressed out. So you might be causing this tower moment in their life. All right. This might be giving them that aha moment, that wake up call, you know, that clarity on what it is that they need to do because you are their happiness. So Cancer, that is what I have for you this week. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment your name below to be entered into the free 30-minute love reading giveaway. And if you'd like to book a 30-minute, $30 reading or a distance Reiki healing session, all that information is down below in the description box. And until next time, Cancer, love and light. Take care.